Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. I'm Sananda. As Miguel informed yesterday, I will be continuing all these teachings that he has done with you over time. I don't have Miguel's power, nor do I aim for it, but I am a very evolved soul, therefore, I also have powers. So don't feel less protected, because he didn't abandon anyone, much less this entire group. I want to tell you that yesterday you realized exactly where the power of those who want to enslave you still lies, or rather, those who wanted to continue enslaving you. It was known that at that time, a great meditation would take place. So why not? Why not get in the way, why not try to reduce that vibration? So, I come here today, to make it very clear to each of you, that nothing got in the way of what had to be done. Who is listening to the meditation today, or tomorrow, does not matter, it will shift time and add your energy to that moment. I understand that for you it is a little complicated, because you understand that you would be modifying the past. In a way yes, but understand, you are just displacing energy. You are not displacing people, nor taking away problems, eliminating them from one moment to the next. You just walk the timeline and be present in the moment, when the great meditation happened. So it was just a small problem, which took some people away from that point, that moment. We could see that the despair among you was enormous. And that's what they wanted, and you fell right into the trap. So do you realize how wrong you did yesterday? Each one of you, who screamed, screamed that you couldn't get in, that everything was going wrong, on the other side, they were laughing at seeing your despair. So what was the point of so much teaching? What is the use of so much information, so that you don't fall into traps? And you fell easily, very easily for one thing, that there was no need for it. Miguel would never do anything without leaving a time shift. So why the despair? Why the lack of faith, why the lack of confidence in what was being done? Do you realize how much you fall? How much do you let yourself get involved in what they want you to get involved in? Yesterday was a small sample, exactly, it was a small sample of what is to come. And apparently, from what we could observe, none of what was said here, you learned. Because at the time, you forgot everything and fell into exactly the trap they prepared. Laughter on the other side, lots of laughter. Because they know, they did nothing against it, they just lowered your vibration. And as a result, you did not participate in the meditation on time with everyone. But through the time shift, everyone will participate. So when we speak here, may you be careful, apparently this was forgotten. And I'm not going to say that there were few who acted like this, there were many. Some even had the insight, stand high, believe. But the vast majority didn't, they just wanted to complain, to despair, and try to push the problem aside. There was no problem here, the problem was global, they are not fools. Take it off the air, then take it off the entire planet. We're really going to have to admit that their strategy worked, you fell right into the trap. My brothers and sisters, every moment, every obstacle is a lesson. Every moment, every adversity is a teaching. So we sincerely hope that you learned from what happened yesterday. This cannot happen again and it will not happen again. You need to make what has been said here count, what Miguel has been teaching you all this time. You forgot everything, for something that wasn't anyone's fault. It was a great strategy put together by them and they think it worked. It worked for you, because many are vibrating low until now and they love it. Now in terms of what would have to happen to the planet, nothing was achieved, nothing. You raised the planet to another, more accelerated timeline. So the prediction, what was to be done? was done regardless of you being there. Just understand the following, you will do the meditation with time displacement. So in fact, you will all be there at the same time, 
and it is exactly the union of all of you, that achieved what Miguel wanted, the planet ascended a little more. Each day, as he said yesterday as well, you are being bathed more and more in the light of Alcyon's central Sunday. Today you still have that light that you received yesterday. So, be careful with your attitudes today, very careful. I sincerely hope that you do a mea culpa and see how wrong you were. This is not a wake-up call, as you often think, this is a confirmation of what you committed yesterday. So let's make a parallel, to yesterday's meditation, to the meeting on the 28th. What will happen to you? You realize that everything on this planet can happen. So I can say that there are many variants and variables in action at this moment, which will modify everything that will happen on the 28th. So, what is the feeling you are expressing on that day? Fear? I imagine so, you must already be thinking about what it will be like on the 28th, if the same thing happens. Keep emanating this, this is a sewing. Keep emanating fear of what the 28th will be like and you will have a comeback, I guarantee that. Because all the consciousness that you put out into the universe is being returned to you very quickly. So keep emanating fear, in relation to the 28th, keep going and you will see the result later. My brothers and sisters, we will evolve, we will grow, we will mature. Leave this feeling of fear aside, so that it does not dominate you. Is it that difficult? Those who trust, those who have faith, are not afraid. Because you know that Father or Mother God meets all your needs. So why the fear? Those who have to worry about what the 28th will be like are not you. It's us, and we are analyzing every point, so that there are no problems on this day. Now, it is not by emanating fear that you will help us, on the contrary, you will be causing all kinds of problems for this day. So just trust, just have faith. Put all your positivity into this day, into this meeting. A little before the 28th, you will receive instructions. For now, we won't say anything. Why talk now? There's no reason for us to talk, nothing at this point. We will say above, so that everyone can do their part. Now it is not with desperation, it is not with attacks, that you will achieve anything. So. When Miguel always speaks, see for yourself, is not for nothing. Learn what you need to learn, so that on the day, you can do what will be done. There will be no one answering your questions, understand that. So whoever doesn't make it, I'm sorry, will be left out, because there will be no answers from here. If you follow and listen to the videos daily, we will be informing you daily what you will have to do. Don't count on answers on the day, because it won't be. So everyone starts to turn around, to take control of their own lives, without depending on other people. This is the great teaching at this moment. You saw what happened yesterday. So do you think that when things actually start to happen, you will have communication? So what are you going to do? Will they despair, will they be afraid? Or will you trust that Divine Consciousness will show you the way? I hope this is the answer. And that even though you are isolated, in the middle of a desert, you will receive help. But for that, you have to trust, you have to believe, that no one will abandon you. So make what happened yesterday a great lesson. You behaved very badly. This is not how you have to behave. Trust, have faith. Miguel was leading the process yesterday, so where would it have failed? Somehow, you would receive it. It all came out, you would receive it somehow. And what did you do? Despair. So I hope you learned this lesson, because it was the first of many. And I repeat again, don't ask anyone for help. You have to fend for yourself, if you don't know, try to learn. Because there will be no support from anyone. This has been said for a long time. This is a very powerful way for them to break any type of communication. Have you ever thought about this? Who runs the internet? 
their means of communication, they are. So when you don't have any of that, what will happen? What are you going to do, die of despair? Or will you simply trust that everything will come into your hands, through divine consciousness? Do you think you will be abandoned at this point? So you don't trust, you don't have faith. This was an example of what could happen in the future. And once again I repeat, you didn't pass the test, you got a zero grade, the vast majority. So rethink your attitudes, rethink them a lot. It is also important to emphasize, without judgment. There is no point in thinking that it could be done in a way A, in a way B, in a way C. Here is a command, and the command was to be done as it was done. Did you understand? It's not you who have to make a guess. Here there is a command and it does what it says. So review your attitudes. And to finish, you can take the meditation that was done yesterday, the way Miguel spoke. Call on the protection of all those around you and do the meditation. Displace time and be reunited with everyone. If it has already been contaminated. I'm not going to answer, you know what to do to take the energy, if any, from the meditation that was done. So do it. Oh, I don't know how to do it. At this point in your journey, you really are in trouble. So don't do anything, that's it. My brothers and sisters, our love for you is immense. Our intention, in fact, is to take each one of you and give you a shake. To see if you wake up, to see if things fall into place in your minds. But unfortunately, we can't. So it's you who have to define the journey. How will you walk? With faith, with confidence, with certainty, or at the first obstacle, will you sit down, cry and despair? Think about it. I am Sananda. And exactly for having lived on the planet, as you are living now, I know very well the pitfalls of the world. But I also know that everything that happens, somehow you emanated before.